Even if stained glass repair is not your thing, stick around, you just might learn something. Every time I learn something new, it pushes some old stuff out of my brain. Last summer, I bought this broken stained glass window for 20 bucks. Smack in the middle are six broken pieces. This is not a simple repair. I'm gonna start by cleaning and scrubbing off decades of dirt. My goal is to repair the glass panel and put it back into the original frame. As far as repair goes, almost every piece, at least the good ones, are gonna need to be taken apart and cleaned. That really cleaned up nicely. If I can pull this off, this window is going to look amazing. There's old dried up window putty around the whole window. Once I'm able to chisel out the putty, I then remove these small nails that were used to hold the glass in place before they puttied. Now I've got to start working it loose. Some of the lead border has disintegrated and that's going to need to be repaired as well. Now I'm going to transport this to my basement workbench where all the fun begins. At this point in the repair process, I need to assess the situation. Two major questions pop out. One what needs to be replaced and two can i ever find a match for this old glass the answer to these questions sets the stage for the whole repair job i take out all the broken glass and see if i can locate replacement glass it is getting harder and harder to find places to go to buy glass especially older glass like this i basically have three places to look my own stash frederick stained glass in chicago and hobby lobby this is not something I can order online. The glass needs to match perfectly or it's just going to stand out. I need to remove the outer lead frame completely in order to be able to get to the inner broken pieces. Unfortunately, some stained glass repairs that have a lot of broken pieces like this one right in the middle, they require a lot of extra work and disassembly. So this is not going to be a quick or easy repair. But before I can even start, I need to clean each and every piece. They have this dried, caked on old cement. So I need to scrape that off using a razor and then clean each and every piece with some dish soap and water. Now, I have each piece numbered. I wanna put these back in the exact spot they were taken out. I don't wanna put them upside down because the tolerances for each piece might be very close. They appear to be the exact same size so they're probably interchangeable, but I don't want to take a chance. I'm going to put them back in the exact position that I took them out. For this broken piece, I wasn't able to find an exact match. So what I'm going to have to do is cut the good piece on the other side to match this one. It's not an ideal solution, but I feel like it's the best choice. As I'm taking more pieces apart, I notice that the original lead came joining every piece is thinner than the one that I have. Hopefully mine isn't going to be too noticeably different. Fortunately for the green glass, I was able to find a very similar color and pattern. I just need to pry out the old one and pop a new one back in place. The three purple pieces are perfectly fine, but I was not able to locate a match. In this case, what I'm going to do is replace all five pieces. So this job is quickly becoming a much bigger job. On the original lead came, I need to remove all of the old crusty putty. I'll take a break from the glass and see what I can do about this old frame. It does have some great patina, so I don't want to sand it thoroughly or repaint it. Here you can even see saw blade marks on the wood. That's cool. I will sand this spot, however, where the window butted up against the frame. I bought this dark oak restore finish at an estate sale. I thought I'd see what it's like and test it out on this frame. I think it's gonna work out nicely. It'll darken the wood and treat it while maintaining a nice, natural, unfinished appearance. 
With all the broken pieces figured out, I can start replacing the lead came and solder this thing back together. Once the window is all together, the window is still not airtight. I'm going to need to apply some cement. It's not really cement as you know it, but it's rather a putty that gets forced in between all the joints and it hardens. This not only blocks out the air, but it also makes the panel extremely sturdy. I bought this pre-mixed stuff, which you actually need to mix as the contents separate. The liquid is linseed oil and they always put too much of it in the container. The consistency when it's thoroughly mixed should be just like peanut butter. I like to press the putty in by hand using a glove. There's just less waste that way. Once every crack has had the putty applied, I'll wipe and scrape off all the excess. Next I apply this whiting powder which is actually calcium carbonate. I sprinkle it on and it absorbs the moisture from the linseed oil. And then I brush thoroughly around all the cracks. I don't want to press so hard that the bristles end up removing putty between the glass pieces. But rather I'm just brushing back and forth on the surface. And I'm going to end up with an amazingly clear and clean surface. I'm going to let it sit overnight and then I'll putty the backside. After both sides have been cemented, I can then clean and reinstall this steel support bar. Now I can reinstall this into the original frame. I'm in the home stretch. This has been a long and difficult road. Now I can be proud and satisfied that a once dirty and broken window can now hold a prominent place in the most beautiful of homes.